Esquimalt Royal Roads. Thank you very much, Honourable Speaker. It's my great pleasure to share news of a great honour from one of my community's respected elders. This past week, Songhees master carver, artist and educator Butch Dick was honoured with a Lifetime Achievement Award from Leadership Victoria. If you spent any time in Victoria, you've likely seen a piece of his artwork. Butch is one of the most prolific First Nations artists in the region, and his murals and carvings are inspiring and beautiful. He was part of the team that carved the house uh, poles at the Songhees Wellness Centre. He created the signs of Lakwangan seven unique site markers that are bronze castings of original cedar carvings. His works can be found along the Inner Harbour, in Centennial Square, and on the new Craig Flower Bridge. Butch was born in Victoria, one of six children raised by his mother after his father died. He attended residential school and Indian Day School before studying design at the Vancouver School of Art in the 1960s and at Camosun College. He then learned from artist and hereditary chief Tony Hunt. Butch developed a passion for education after he was asked to teach a First Nations art and culture class at Shoreline Middle School 30 years ago. He mixed art with storytelling and lessons in First Nations language. For the last few years, he has worked as a Songhees education liaison, giving back to youth, passing on the many skills he has learned and mastered. And I know he's very popular with all of those students. He and his wife, Irene, have eight children, 31 grandchildren, and seven great-grandchildren. Their sons, Clarence and Bradley, are also renowned artists. I hope the members of the House will join me in congratulating Butch Dick for this Lifetime Achievement Award from Leadership Victoria. He is truly a tremendous leader and a great inspiration in our community. Thank you.